have thought 40 years ago that we'd be sitting here drinking Chateau de Chasselas. I would have been glad of the price of a cup of tea then. Ah, a cup of cold tea. Aye. Aye. Without milk or sugar. Aye. Or tea. Aye. <laughs> and out of a cracked cup at that. Yeah. We never had a cup. We used to drink out of a rolled up newspaper. <laughs> Best we could manage was to suck on a piece of damp cloth. Aye. But you know, I often think we were happier then, although we were poor. Because we were poor. Aye. My old dad said to me, he said, money won't bring you happiness, son. He was right. Oh, I was happier then. I had nothing. Oh. We used to live in a tiny, tumble-down old house with great holes in roof. House? You're looking to have a house. We used to live in one room, 26 of us. <laughs> all there. No furniture. Half the floor was missing, and we were all huddled in one corner for fear of falling. <laughs> room? You were lucky to have a room. We used to have to live in corridor. Corridor? <laughs> Oh, I used to dream of living in a corridor. That would have been a palace to us. <laughs> we used to live in a water tank on rubbish tip. Ah, every morning we'd be woke up by having a load of rotting fish dumped on us. House. Ah. Well, when I said house, I mean to our own the hole in ground covered by a couple of foot of torn canvas. But it were house to us. Oh, well, we were evicted from our hole in the ground. We had to go and live in the lake. Hey, hey, you were lucky to have a lake. There were over 150 of us living in a small shoebox in the middle of the road. Cardboard box? Right. Oh, you were lucky. <laughs> we lived for three months in a rolled-up newspaper in a septic tank. Right. Every morning we'd have to get up at six, clean out rolled-up newspaper, eat a crust of stale bread, then we'd have to work 14 hours at mill, day in, day out, for sixpence a week. Ah, and then we'd, when we'd come home, Dad would thrash us to sleep with his belt. Luxury. <laughs> we used to get up at three, clean the lake, eat a handful of hot gravel, then we'd work in mill for 20 hours for twopence a month, then we'd come home and Dad would beat us about the head and neck with a broken bottle, if we were lucky. Paradise. <laughs> we had it tough. I used to have to get out at the shoebox at midnight, lit road clean, eat a couple of bits of cold gravel, work 23 hours a day at mill for a penny every four years, and when we, and when we got home, Dad used to slice us in half with a bread knife. Right. <clears throat> we used to get up in the morning at half past ten at night, half an hour, half an hour before we'd gone to bed. Eat a lump of poison, work 29 hours a day at mill for eight in your lifetime, come home and each night Dad would strangle us and dance about on our graves. Oh.